The northern tamandua is a solitary animal that communicates by hissing sounds and a very potent odor produced from a gland. As a result, they are sometimes referred to as the stinkers of the forest. I'm your host, Romy Casanino, and I'm a conservation scientist, writer, and photographer. Every episode will be introducing you to new animals caught on camera traps around the world. You're getting some footage from Manga Bay, and these are some of the extents we take to get our SD card. Don't forget to subscribe to Manga Bay to get notifications about our latest videos. The northern tamandua is a medium-sized anteater that lives in tropical and subtropical forests from southern Mexico through Central America to the edge of the northern Andes in South America. It has yellow fur with a distinctive patch of black fur that makes the anteater appear to be wearing a vest. Northern tamanduas are mainly nocturnal, but are sometimes active during the day. They are active for about 8 hours each day, spending the rest of the time sheltering in hollow trees or burrows of other animals. Tamanduas are adapted to an arboreal lifestyle. They have a prehensile tail and forefeet that enable them to grip branches and climb. Tamanduas forage both in the canopy and on the forest ground. When they're on the ground, they walk on the outside of their hands to avoid sticking their large claws into their palms. These animals are specialized to eat termites and ants, and like other anteaters, they have no teeth. Their mouth opening is only about the diameter of a pencil, and their tongues are long, extending to about 40 centimeters. Tamanduas detect termite and ants nest by scent, and they use their powerful claws to rip them open. Actually, the middle toe of their forefeet has an unusual large claw, which is perfect for the task. To extract the insects, they use their long and narrow tongues, which are coated with a sticky saliva and backward-facing projections that ensnare the ants and termites. They may eat up to 9,000 insects per day. Northern tamanduas give birth to a single offspring. The young anteater initially shelters in a hollow tree, but then clings to its mother's back and travels with her. They will stay with their mother for about one year before dispersing. Northern tamanduas have been reported to live almost 10 years in captivity. In the wild, they are predated by jaguars, large snakes, and eagles. To defend themselves, they stand up on their hind legs and tails using a tree or rock for support and thrash their claws at their enemy. They are classified as least concerned by the IOCN. In the next episode, we'll be meeting the only pig species that has adapted to grazing and savanna habitats. Tell us in the comments if you know what animal it is. See you next time. Mango Bay.